Hey, and welcome to this PKHS tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a simulation, sort of, of real physics, which is actually a lot easier than you think it would be. Um, normally when, like, the, an example of this would be if you wanted this cube to have, like, a natural fall, like, if you wanted to animate it falling naturally, like, say, onto a plane. Um, you could animate like this. You just have a rotation rotate and, and go up a couple of frames. And then animate it like that. Maybe with it hitting the thing. And then, but then, when you get to here, it's kind of hard to gauge what to do. Because just, it's hard to animate stuff like that, you know? So, there is actually an easier way to do that. It's, it's very simple, and it's, it's by using the Blender game engine. So, to do this, you just go up here, and you change this from Blender Render to Blender Game. So, I'm going to Shift A, add a cube, just as an example, and I'm going to pull it up here. And I'm going to Shift A, and I'm going to add a plane, and I'm going to S to size it up. Okay. So now I'm going to select my cube, and I'm going to go over here to the physics panel, and beside physics type, I'm going to change it from static to rigid body, and I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to check collision bounds, and I'm going to leave it at box. So now, when I hit P, which you could also just go to, I can't remember, this uh, one of these buttons up here. But, um, oh, this one right here, the render settings. You can also just hit start, but it's easier, I think, just to hit P on your keyboard, and you see your cube fall. And you can do it for pretty much any object. However, if you change the object, like if you do UV sphere, you need to change the physics setting, and you, you gotta remember to do rigid body, and then collision bounds, but you gotta change it to a sphere instead of a cube. So like if I rotated this plane, or I rotate, and I'll just smooth the plane, hit P, you can see they kind of slide off there. You can also change the, the mass of it. So like if I wanted this sphere to be heavier, then I could up the mass a good bit, and it'll just see how easily it, it knocks off the, the cube right there. It goes a lot faster too. So, yeah. Now, also one other thing is if you have, if you have modeled some specific objects, like say if I had this cube, and just for example, I'll go ahead and here and edit it a couple of times, add some edge loops, size it in, maybe select that top face, and extrude it and size it down. Do the same with the bottom, just as an example. And see, if you do this, you're going to need to make it different. You're going to need to do collision balance, but instead of box, you're going to do convex hole. And that will convex to the, well, that'll like make it the right area. So when you hit P, it'll fall like the actual shape of it rather than otherwise. So you can play around with this. It's really, really fun to play with. Like, so if I want to duplicate this cube a bunch, I'm doing Shift D to do OK, by the way. And then hit P. See, all over the fall, you get a big thing going on. That's how people, if you see YouTube videos of people building big towers, that's all they're doing is they're just building these. And then they're just building, and then they're animating. Now, here's the part of how you get this into the render. Because, see, when you're playing this, it's just playing the animation. I mean, it's just playing the, the game. It's not actually putting it into animation. So, how to put it into animation is you go up here to game and you select record animation and so now for however many frames you have you need to set your number of frames down here for however long you want them like you might want one longer than 250 frames but what I'm gonna do is when you start the game it'll start recording it and you need to stop it when it gets to the end of the frames because if you don't it'll start recording over what you've done, and that can look really bad. 
So just hit P and hit Escape to end it. Okay, so now, as you can see, all these keyframes are entered in down here. Oh, I'm sorry, it doesn't. It must have just been in 2.4 now, but it doesn't do that anymore. It just goes, it keeps recording on even after that, so yeah. So yeah. Okay, and then, of course, you just render your animation like you would any other one and hope for a good result. So yeah, that's that is how you get a better recording of physics in Blender. And every time you do this, it records a different thing, and so it'll look really... Well, I guess it records that right, so... Yeah. So yeah, it's a pretty simple thing to do. And pretty pretty fun to play with so hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any more questions or comments or anything let me know in the uh, in the comments below and um yeah thanks for watching